थाईलैंड की राजधानी बैंकॉक में आयोजित नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया फेस्टिवल 2022 का आज समापन हो जाएगा यहां समापन समारोह का आयोजन किया गया है केंद्र की एक्ट ईस्ट पॉलिसी को बढ़ा बढ़ावा देने और पूर्वोत्तर के खान पान पर्यटन भाषा और कला संस्कृति को देश विदेश में प्रचलित करने के उद्देश्य से इस महोत्सव का आयोजन किया गया था ये फेस्टिवल थाईलैंड के साथ भारत के राजनयिक संबंधों के पचहत्तर साल पूरे होने का प्रतीक है और इसका उद्देश्य दोनों देशों के बीच व्यापार पर्यटन सांस्कृतिक आदान प्रदान और लोगों से लोगों की मुलाकात को बढ़ावा देना है कार्यक्रम में मेघालय के मुख्यमंत्री कौनराज सांगमा नागालैंड के मुख्यमंत्री नेफ्यूरियो असम के कैबिनेट मंत्री योजी ब्रह्म मंत्री जोगेन मोहन और लोकप्रिय गायक जुबिन गर्ग समेत अन्य राज्यों के कई नेता मौजूद रहे इस मौके पर थाईलैंड में भारत के राजदूत सुचित्रा दुराई ने नॉर्थ ईस्ट लाइव से खास बातचीत में इस फेस्टिवल के महत्व के बारे में बताया these kind of festivals what they do is that show the people uh, at a public level people are aware that you know northeast india has a very strong linkage there is a ethnic connect there is a cultural connect there is a religious connect between the two sides and what we hope is that it will translate into more people in thailand studying about india it will all also generate tourism which is very important for the gdp of every country you know it's a best creation easiest creator of jobs thailand has a lot of expertise in hospitality in food processing technology uh, northeast india has so much of agricultural products which can be very nicely presented packaged and sold uh you know in southeast asia well ma'am uh, how do you see the feasibility of uh, religious tourism between thailand and northeast india as you have seen northeast india has lot of uh, buddhist monasteries yes. and here also thailand mm -hmm. we have seen that uh, thailand has good relationship with uh, gaya correct so is there any possibility that uh, yes definitely i think uh, once the northeast indian states also promote uh you know these kind of for example uh, assam we have seen so many uh, you know uh, theravada uh, you know buddhist temples are there uh, also of course the monasteries in arunachal pradesh you know the very big monasteries are there in tawang for example uh, in also in in um, you know uh, in sikkim you have very big monasteries so there might be a lot of interest in people going there so you have saying that uh, there is great possibility of building a relationship that is what uh, we believe and uh, we feel that initiatives like this really help in spreading awareness first thing is to spread the awareness and you know uh, yesterday and today a lot of uh, thai media have covered this event which means that people will start looking at uh, northeast india in a very serious way वही थाईलैंड के पूर्व उप प्रधानमंत्री व भारत थाईलैंड फ्रेंडशिप एसोसिएशन के चेयरमैन कौन देबा रारांशी ने कहा कि दिसंबर में वे पूर्वोत्तर दौरे पर आएंगे We have with us former Deputy Prime Minister of Thailand, Mr. Korn Devarensi, who is also the chairman of the India-Thailand Friendship Association. Well, sir, we have seen 
this type of seminars, festivals happening earlier also. So how long or how far this can go to actually build a relationship uh, with the uh, Northeast, with the Southeast Asia? Okay, I believe that the functions that we participate in today will be enhanced, will be upgraded to a higher level and to a wider scope in the future. Considering that the Thai people who live now in the northern of India are some Thai Parke, Thai Ahom, and Thai people in Thailand, and Thai people in the southern Yunnan, we believe that they are, it's extraordinary connectivity among these Thai people. And I believe that as myself as the president of Thai India Friendship Association, this capacity, I will do whatever I can to enhance this. I will bring this, what we call the triangle of ties, triangle of peace, triangle of brotherhood of the Thai people among these regions to a more higher visibility to the eyes of the world. And that would be a great pleasure, a great honor for me if I would be a part of this enhancement. This kind of function will be very good and uh, the Thai India Friendship Association will be very happy to give our possible support to this kind of function in the future.